Hey guys, let's find this limit. It's a limit as x approaches zero of one minus the square root of one minus x over x. First, let's copy it down and let's try just plugging in zero, see what happens. So in the place of both these x's, I just plugged in zero. Well, this minus zero isn't doing anything and the square root of one is just one. And then one minus one is zero. By using direct substitution, we just got zero over zero, which is an indeterminate form. This isn't giving us any information. Given zero over zero, the answer could still be anything. So we have to find another way to solve this. Looking at this, I'm seeing a binomial that includes a square root, so usually you're going to use the conjugate. So in this case, 1 minus the square root, the conjugate would be 1 plus the square root. And then we're going to multiply that to top and bottom, so we're not actually changing the value of the rational expression. So let's see what happens when we use the conjugate. On bottom, we're just going to leave it as x times this. We're not going to need to distribute the x. Usually as the one that isn't the conjugate, you can just leave it as the product of the two. So now on top, let's multiply this stuff out. So we have 1 times 1, which will give us 1. Then we have 1 times the square root, which is the square root. And then we have the negative square root times one, which is the negative square root. And then we have the negative square root times the positive square root. A negative times a positive is going to be negative. And then the square root of one minus x times the square root of one minus x. When you multiply those, the square root goes away and we have one minus x. So before we simplify, let's distribute this negative to both of these terms. So this positive one will become a negative one and the negative x will become a positive x. So now we have the positive of this square root and the negative of this square root. They're gonna cancel each other out. And then we have positive one and negative one. Those will also cancel each other out. And now let's smush everything together. And this x on top and bottom will also cancel each other out. And now that there's nothing on top, we should put the implied one. Now let's do some direct substitution. What happens if we plug zero into the x? Well, this zero isn't doing anything, so this just becomes one over one plus square root of one. And one plus square root of one is one plus one, which is two. And that is the answer to our question. Let's put a box around it. So the limit as x approaches zero of this is equal to one half. And here it is in Desmos, and you can see that it does approach one half from both directions. If you guys want to try more of these limit problems, I have this page on antimath.com. It's got a whole bunch of problems with the answers. The link is in the description. How exciting.